Welcome to another Warframe Tip of the Day. Today we'll be showing you how to get tubercular gill systems. We'll be focusing on capturing the fish, chondriocords, duroids, and vestral spina. When cut, they will drop tubercular gill systems. Set your gameplay to solo, then let's head over to the Cambrian Drift on Deimos. All three fish spawn in cave hotspots. My favorite spots for cave fishing is in between the catabolic gutter. Within this cave is a long river that can spawn several hot spots. Hot spots are a glowing aura surrounding the water, basically a more specified location to spawn certain fish. While we're here waiting for the fish to spawn, let's talk about my loadout and how to capture these elusive fish. Before you can capture these fish, you will need a fishing spear. The two most effective spears to use for these special fish are the Spari or Ibisu spear. Both can be purchased through the Daughter and the Necrolis on Deimos. The Spari Spear is bought for 500 standings and you can be rank 0 neutral. The Ibisu is an upgraded form of the Spari Spear, but requires a few ranking to be able to purchase it. The Ibisu Spear can be purchased for 5000 standings and must be rank 3 associate. The Ibisu Spear has a silencer, which makes it undetectable to other surrounding fish, preventing them from scurrying away. Next you will want to illuminate the fish in the water, so you have a better chance of seeing them. Here I bring my companion Oxylus, equipped with the mod Scan Aquatic Lifeforms. This companion can highlight or illuminate the fish, as well as show hotspots on your mini-map, which looks like little fish. Check out my video on how to obtain the Oxylus, link will be in the description. If an Oxylus is not an option for you, you can use Luminous Dye to illuminate the fish. This is a one-time use item, so you need to keep buying more to use more. The fishing gear item can be bought from Fisher High Luck in Earth's Cetus for 100 standings each. Completely optional, but I suggest bringing a Warframe that can go invisible. Enemies will bother you while fishing, so it's best to just stay invisible for fishing or even conservation. I use my Warframe Ivera, built with max efficiency and energy. She can stay invisible depending on how much energy is being consumed. I also like Loki for his invisibility. However, when he goes invisible, the colors change and it can be hard to find the fish or see hot spots. If you're going the Loki route, build him around max duration. This will determine how long he stays invisible. With some fishing methods, you would need bait to attract the fish. This is somewhat true, but not required for this method. Vestral spina and chondricords will spawn without bait. Let me repeat that again. Vestral spina and chondriocords will spawn without bait. However, Volm Residue will increase the spawn rate for chondricords and also spawn duroids. It is suggested for chondricords and needed for duroids. Do not confuse Volm Residue for Volm Bait. Volm Bait is bought from the Daughter on Deimos and Volm Residue is gathered in the Cambian Drift. The Volm Residue is dropped during the Foss Psycho and glows blue. You can see an animation of the residue being dropped if you watch the cycle change at the exact time. When you see a Vaughn residue in the open world, hit it and collect it. It will automatically go into your fishing quick slots. Speaking of cycle changes, the Cambian Drift has a Vaughn and Foss cycle. Certain fish will spawn during certain cycles. For the fish we're looking for, they do not need a certain cycle to spawn. You can catch them during either the Foss or Vaughn cycle. It does not matter at all. The only real reason to look at what cycle you're currently in is to gather Vaughn residue. To easily see what cycle you're currently in is to open your detailed map. On the bottom right of your screen is a display of your cycle and a timer for the next cycle change. If you haven't fished before or is a returning player, here's a quick breakdown on how to fish. When you purchase your spear, go into your equipment gear and add your spear. When you get to your destination fishing spot, open up your gear wheel and select your spear. Take a look at the bottom right of your screen, where your energy is normally located. It will look like fishing quick slots instead. I am playing on PlayStation, so I don't know what the corresponding action buttons are for the PC and other consoles, but for PlayStation, here you can hold your R1 button. Then you can be able to switch fishing poles, select your bait, and die. For our situation, I select either the Spari or Ibisu Spear. Select a Valm Residue and Luminous Dye if you're using one. 
I'm using the Oxalis Companion, so I will not be throwing in the die. When you press the bait button, your Warframe will throw the bait into the water. Now is the waiting game. The fish don't just spawn immediately, they take their time. This location is great because you can be at more than one hotspot in the same area. You can go back and forth between hotspots to see if a fish will spawn. Now, we're not completely done yet. To get the gill systems, you'll need to extract the mission to claim your fish. Inside the Necrolist on Deimos, go visit the daughter. Select Cut Fish. Select as many as you want. Complete cutting fish and the gill systems will be rewarded along with other material. There are other fish that can drop the gill systems too. However, you'll have to deal with cycles and using bait. The method I gave you can be done without cycles and bait and also spawns three different fish in one area, making this method a little more efficient. And there you have it, another Warframe tip of the day. Tell me in the comments below how many fish you managed to capture in one run. If this tip helped you, hit that like and thanks button. Subscribe for more Warframe tips and to get notified when a new video becomes available. I'll see you next time for another Warframe tip of the day.